All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back. I do want to apologize. I, I, I realized after the fact. Uh, the microphone that was picking up for the videos was actually not this big one I don't that I don't even think is in the frame. The webcam actually has a built-in microphone that that's what was picking up i apologize that was an oversight on my part um what can i say other than i'm very we saw we i hope you can forgive me for those that care um hopefully you can see that good um, my finger is all better for those that do not know. I, 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 because I don't mention it enough. I work in a meat department and I, I unfortunately, I cut my finger on the, uh, circle saw a little, well, I guess about two and a half weeks ago now. Um. did not realize I started with uh, not all that much health in this one. But I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm a uh, I'm vibing, I have to say. Personally speaking, been very happy uh, lately. You know, I have uh, I have the girlfriend, I have Good family, good friends. Couple of roadblocks here and there. Uh, the finger getting cut was was a uh, unforeseen and unpleasant setback. Yes, but uh, it's it's just about healed. You know, like I said, it's just most everything is going good. I've been playing. Um, I needed something that I actually could play at at night and, and unwind. And I, I had started before I hurt myself, but um, I started playing uh, StarCraft Two again. And I forgot that I had the Mobius mod downloaded for Wings of Liberty. I just I guess about every year, I have tried to make it a point to uh, replay through StarCraft 2. It's just, it's one of my comfort games. Um, along with Kessin 3, which next time I play Kessin 3, it will be for the YouTube channel. Uh, I've made my mind up on that. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope everybody else is too. I know Try Too Hard was talking about how he was stoked to see it, but had not had ever had an opportunity to play it and I feel like a lot of people are in that boat or if they aren't stoked to see it I hope I can make them stoked to see it that they'll they'll try it and decide that they want to see more because it's a really good game it really um I, I think of that one as more of a hidden gem now don't get me wrong, Koei, as as much as I've played the shit out of all their games, I just downloaded the new Nobunaga's Ambition that came out uh, yesterday. I'm recording on the 23rd, Nobunaga's Ambition Awakening. Uh, of course, it, it's not a new game, but it just got localized. Um, I'm probably going to play that after I get done recording here. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, they have had some stinkers. They really have. Uh, they, they've, uh, they're just like everybody else. Some, some games they've made are very obviously uninspired. It's just what it is. Not much replay value to it at all. I talked about. Uh, and of course, it's. I, I think it is still the most disliked video I have on my channel because so many people, I guess, disagreed with what I had to say. I don't know. I never really got a, a comment that 
disagreed with me so much. I talked about in that, for those of you that haven't seen it, Samurai Warriors 4 2 was. It, it was not an expansion to Samurai Warriors 4, which I consider the best Samurai Warriors ever. It was like a. It, the way they marketed marketed was, and I, I think this is almost verbatim, because I remember this quote. The upgrade to Samurai Warriors 3 to 4 was insufficient. And so in Samurai Warriors 4 2, which was supposed to be like a... Um, let's see. I don't know, like the definitive edition. Put it that way. And they sold it for $50. And they had almost no new levels. One new character. It was really fun to play. I mean, Nomasa was a really fun character to, to play as. He looked cool. Had no problem with Nomasa E being made a character. But I, I said for $50, you do not get your money's worth. This... Uh, is basically is taking advantage of people who've been longtime supporters of their games who, you know, buy everything. And that, not only was it not better than Simbrow Warriors 4, it was worse. And uh, the only comment that I really had that was negative at all on there was, hey, I... I watched the video, and I appreciate what you said, but I think I'm going to try it anyway. It's on sale. Okay. Ain't no problem. I'm trying to... Okay. Yeah. So my point being is that Kessim 3 is one of, in my opinion, one of the major, like, winners that almost nobody seems to have played. And there's very little content on YouTube about it. And I want to be the dude to make the definitive series. And my friends were talking to me the other day. Uh, Gabe was like, "Well, you're you're doing it wrong." What do you mean? He said, "Well, your videos." He he said, "Your stories are good," and he said, "There's a lot of them that you tell on there that I wouldn't mind listening to, but I can't stand Dynasty Warriors, and so I'm not going to watch your videos." in the hopes that you tell good stories because I don't like the game. I'm like, well... It's like the stories are incidental. I mean, I, I'm, I'm playing the game, I'm focusing on the game. What I wanted to do was make the definitive and even though I get shit on a little bit, a little bit, I have to get shit on right now. I wanted to make uh, a playlist on YouTube where somebody can go and they know exactly what they're watching where they can watch every single stage in the game played and beaten eventually even if I die a couple times on the hardest difficulty that the game has to offer with every character represented and uh, my doing my best to showcase them. That's what I want to do. I've I've gotten a lot of nice comments. I've gotten a huge bump in subscribers, and I, I think people enjoy this format. 
because let's face it, Dynasty Warriors, whereas it's a very fun series, I think if you're watching this, you probably, especially 100, episode 107 or 8, I think I'm up to now, if you're watching this far, you're probably a Dynasty Warriors fan, I, I, I'd hazard a guess. But, of course, with that being said, there's only so much you can talk about with Dynasty Warriors. So I use, uh, of course, my life is, it may not be the most exciting shit ever, but I just, I get on here and like I'm talking to, talking to friends, I get on here and shoot the shit, talk a little bit about what's on the mind, what's going on with me, you know, I bring up stuff to consider, you know. I just, I, I really, I enjoy this style of content. And yes, if you want to know what I talk about, you might have to watch a Village Encounter with Zhu Xu. You're like, oh man, Zhu Xu sucks. But what, what does, what is Logan talking about? What is Red Devil talking about in the, in this episode? You know, something to put on in the background for, for those of you with the dual monitor set up, something to throw up on the other screen. While you're sitting, you're chilling, you're playing your games, talking to your boys, maybe just a little bit of background noise. That's cool. That's cool. I spent, I, I think content like that is, is valuable within itself. Okay, it went a lot better. Work has been work has been a little frustrating for me lately. I had a uh, my closer just he didn't just walk out on me. I guess he did in a metaphorical sense. He just stopped showing up to work. And I I, I sent the dude. I tried calling him several times. He wouldn't answer. I sent him text messages. You know. He and I both have Android, and if you have the option enabled, you can see when you text or call somebody or whatever, when they've seen it, or I guess just mainly text. I don't know if you can see calls or not, but if you can, I don't know how to do it. But I knew that he's seen my text messages. And I said, Jacob, dude. I don't know if, if something's happened to you, you know, if, if you're even okay. If if you're done, we're adults here, just tell me. Because right now I don't know, you know, uh, we, we have a small crew anyway. If you have decided you're done, I need to go about trying to hire somebody to replace you. You know? I need to be able to, to move on from this and know that you're okay. And if I need to hire somebody or look into hiring somebody new, I can. And he finally sent me a text message. He's like, yeah, I'm okay. I just, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. He said, and he's told me, he said, quote, I'm afraid I'm going to have to terminate our contract. He was not under fucking contract working for the grocery store. Uh, uh, either verbal or... Or written or otherwise he didn't have to sign an electronic contract he just he was always kind of weird I, I I don't know but uh, it, it, it's taken a very long time to replace him and I've had to go back and forth between opening and closing and opening and closing and it's, you know, opening hours for us is, is 6 o'clock in the morning. Closing is 7 o'clock at night. Sometimes later than that. And I had a guy. So fully staffed for my department is about 6 people. Um... Uh,
And, and Jacob was my sixth. And he quit. And then shortly thereafter, I, I started having one of my main cutters close. He's the newest guy. He's the youngest guy. Uh, it's me, him, and a part-timer, and then two old men. And, you know, shit, it's, it's, it's physical. I'm, I'm not going to have the old dudes close all the time if I can help it. Plus, they have quite a bit of seniority. But he can. But this guy, he complains and complains. And you know, he told me shortly after I hired him. I noticed he had a very. He's a very heavy set. And I noticed that he had a major hump. Like he looked really um, slumped over. And I didn't really think much about it, to be honest with you. But then he told me later, he said, I don't know if you noticed, but I, he, he said, have you noticed how much I'm slumped over? I said, well, yeah, I have, but I didn't think much of it. And he said, well, I have this condition that causes my spine to bend irregularly. And the only relief I get is I go and I get shots every so often. And I get 12 shots in the back. He said, and then I'm good. But it takes those shots in order for me to be okay. So, wow. I didn't think much of it again when he started complaining about his back lately. He said, well, I think I'm going to have to go get the shots. Keep in mind, this is early July. Uh, and I just... I cut my finger on the third, which severely limited what I could do for quite a while. And... It progressed and progressed, and he started uh, basically fucking around, not doing a very good job, complaining every day about everything, just a really miserable person to be around, and I, I get pain is pain, I really do, it's, it, it's, it's very hard to be positive and go getting, you know, whenever you're hurting really bad and I get that but a lot of days he just show utter contempt disrespect to me to others and a couple weeks ago it was a Thursday and I had to work six days that week anyway and I was I was thinking to myself well today would be I, got, I have everybody working today. Today would be a good day to head out a little bit earlier because we're, we're getting in good shape. You know, the rest of the guys got it. And not too long after he got there, he, he walked up to me. I was in the cooler. He waited for me to be away from everybody else, I guess. And he said, I can't do this. I said, can't do what? He said, any of them. He said, I'm, I'm hurting too bad. He said, I can't clean, I can't wrap, I can't cut, I can't do anything. He said, I, I think I need to just go home and stay home until I uh, get my shots. I said, well, have you made an appointment to do that? He said, yeah, but they can't see me until August 29th. This is mid-July. So what he's talking about is basically going on medical leave. Um, and he said, after I get my shots, it gets worse for a couple days before it gets better. So I'll be bedridden. So I can't work then either. So it'll be early September before I come back. And I was like, holy shit. You know. And immediately the gear started to turn. What am I going to do? And uh, he thinks I'm mad at him, which I am. Uh, and he he's telling me he said, "Well, I think my I think my back and my health is is more important than this company." Can't disagree with you there. But 
we've had all this time. And he talks, well, I should have gotten it months ago. Well, if you'd gotten it months ago when we were fully staffed, we wouldn't be in this in this issue. I said, you've done yourself and me a disservice by pushing it off until now you're in so much pain that you can't work anymore. And you're leaving me when I'm already short-staffed. It's it feels like you've you know you've picked your spot here. And, you know, instead of getting something done about it when you should have, you've fiddled around and now you put everybody in a bad situation. So I don't know. saw you ride off on red hair. Now the same steed has brought you here to impede my path. Go, Lord Cow Cow. Consider my debt to you paid in full. That was a fun one. Took my time on that one. A rank, I'll take it. Let's see, who have we got next time? One, two. Soon, Jang Jang. I look forward to it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll do, do it again. Bye-bye for now.